No one expected such a quiet change to have such an impact. But that's exactly what happened when Tesla ditched its much-talked-about 4680 Gen 1 battery and went all-in on a new version, an evolution many haven't even grasped yet. The 4680 Gen 2 isn't just an update. It's a complete redesign of the technology that underpins the company's electric future. And we're not talking about minor tweaks. Everything, from the physical shape to the internal chemical workings, has been rethought to solve long-standing problems and pave the way for a new generation of cheaper, more durable, and more efficient vehicles. For starters, the cell size has been reduced to 46 size 70 millimeters, a technical detail that may seem minor, but makes all the difference when applied on a large scale. This reduction improves cell fit in compact cars like the Model 2 without sacrificing energy density. This means more space, less weight, and better performance. Furthermore, the new design facilitates battery thermal control, essential for ensuring durability and safety, especially in more affordable vehicles that don't have expensive liquid cooling systems. But the real leap forward is in the internal chemistry. The Gen 2 uses a hybrid electrolyte, solid and liquid at the same time, which increases thermal stability and allows for much faster recharging. In initial tests, the battery was able to reach a full charge in just 10 minutes, something practically unheard of in the electric vehicle market. For those who use their car daily and depend on fast charging, this is a complete game changer. And as if that weren't enough, Tesla also added a self-repair system that repairs internal microcracks, extending the component's lifespan. This self-healing electrolyte is one of the new cell's most impressive secrets. It's capable of redistributing ions internally during periods of inactivity, reducing the typical wear and tear that occurs over time. This allows the battery to maintain its performance for many more charge cycles. It's estimated to withstand up to 10,000 complete cycles without significant degradation, which, in practice, equates to about 1 million miles driven. This makes the Model 2 not only affordable, but also virtually energy efficient. And of course, with so much technology on board, cost would be a barrier, right? Wrong. The Gen 2 was designed precisely to break that barrier. The price per kilowatt hour dropped to less than $60, an unprecedented figure that paves the way for truly affordable electric cars. For comparison, Tesla's own previous batteries hovered around $85 to $100 per kilowatt. This cost reduction wasn't magic, but the result of a massive engineering effort with optimizations at every layer of the process, from the materials used to the production line in the gigafactories. Another notable feature is thermal performance. The Gen 1 struggled to keep temperatures under control, especially during fast loads or when the car was under extreme stress. The new generation addresses this with a multi-channel cooling system and a redesigned internal structure, allowing heat to be dissipated more efficiently. This not only prevents overheating, but also ensures more stable performance in any weather condition, from the scorching heat of Nevada to the extreme cold of Alberta. On top of all this, Tesla also applied a new approach to cell materials. The use of a manganese-doped silicon anode was a masterstroke. This material increases energy density without compromising cell stability. And best of all, it works in perfect harmony with the gel electrolyte, forming a kind of chemical sandwich that keeps the battery safe and functional for much longer. It's as if Tesla had found the balance between power, safety, and durability, all within a smaller, cheaper cell. This battery wasn't just made to impress on spec sheets. It was designed for the real world, for those who commute to work every day, for those who need to quickly charge their car at the grocery store, for those who want to spend less and drive more. It's the kind of advancement that changes not only the product, but the very concept of ownership. The Model 2, powered by this new technology, won't be just another electric car on the road. It promises to be the gateway to an era where owning an electric car will no longer be a luxury. It will be the new normal. It may sound ambitious, 
But when you put this battery at the center of the equation, everything starts to make sense. It's not just a technical piece. It's the heart of a larger strategy, connecting price, production, performance, and sustainability into a single package. And that's precisely what leads to the next step in this story, how this battery becomes the very structure of the car, redefining the way it's built and used. If you thought you'd seen it all, now's where things get even more interesting. With the arrival of the new 4680 Gen 2 battery, Tesla didn't stop at just improving the internals. It went further and transformed the car's very structure into something entirely new. The Model 2 won't just carry a battery, it will be built around of it. It's what engineers call Structural Battery Pack 2.0, an approach that eliminates reinforcement bars, struts, and even traditional chassis parts. What was once an accessory has now become a vital part of the structure. And believe me, this changes absolutely everything, from weight to cornering behavior. This architecture isn't just bold, it's smart. By integrating the battery into the vehicle's skeleton, Tesla can reduce overall weight by up to 20%, which directly impacts energy consumption, acceleration, safety, and even the final cost. Imagine a lighter car with fewer parts and even more durable. It sounds contradictory, but it's real. The secret lies in the use of special alloys around the pack and a new layout that distributes the cells evenly under the floor. The result is a firmer car with a lower center of gravity and a much more stable driving feel. And there's more. This architecture also allows for more efficient cooling without the need for complex piping systems or circulating liquids. Tesla has invested in built-in thermal pads and strategically placed air channels, which naturally dissipate heat while the car is moving or even stationary. This not only facilitates mass production, but also reduces the need for future maintenance. Fewer moving parts, fewer failures. For the consumer, this translates into peace of mind, savings, and fewer visits to the repair shop. Another aspect that deserves attention is the energy capacity of this new pack. It is estimated that it will have between 50 and 55 Vaithi, Atiri Kruts, a perfect range for a compact city car like the Model 2. This capacity, combined with the vehicle's lightweight and the efficiency of its engines, guarantees a realistic range of around 300 to 350 kilometers per charge, enough to comfortably cover most people's daily routines. And the most interesting thing is that, despite being smaller in size, this pack weighs about 40% less than that used in the Model 3, an engineering feat few would have imagined possible. But it's not just about performance. This structural change is also a step forward in sustainability. Because the pack is lighter, the car consumes less energy per kilometer, which in turn means less battery wear and tear over time. Less wear, fewer replacements, less waste, a virtuous cycle that begins at the factory and continues into the owner's daily life. And, as a bonus, this system allows the batteries to be more easily reused or recycled, thanks to the modular design that avoids gluing parts and facilitates disassembly. Now, for the really jaw-dropping part, this new structural system was designed from the ground up with vehicle-to-grid V2G functionality. Instead of just being an energy consumer, the Model 2 will also be a mini power plant on wheels. It can return electricity to your home, to the public grid, or even share a charge with another vehicle, all controlled by software and with complete safety. This isn't an additional feature. It's a cornerstone of the design. The battery already comes with this built-in function, ready to act as a power reserve in emergencies or peak consumption situations. This possibility of integration with the electrical grid transforms the car's role in people's lives. It's no longer just a means of transportation, but also an extension of the home's energy ecosystem. If the sun doesn't shine for days and the solar panels aren't up to the task, the Model 2 can power appliances. If the grid goes down during a storm, it becomes a backup generator. And most interestingly, 
All of this can happen automatically, with artificial intelligence analyzing when and how it should be done without the owner having to press a button. From a technical standpoint, this capability was only possible thanks to the new LFP lithium iron phosphate battery, which is much more thermally stable and resistant to charge cycles than previous models. Furthermore, the pack's internal modules are independent, allowing individual control of groups of cells. This ensures a more precise and safer energy flow, essential for V2G. With fewer parts, less heat, and more control, Model 2 becomes something that goes far beyond a car. It's part of the home, the grid, the routine, and the future. This new energy integration concept paves the way for the next stage of Tesla's strategy, making the Model 2 affordable for everyone without sacrificing innovation. But how is it possible to deliver so much technology at such a low price? This is where the most intriguing part of the story comes in. The bold plan to sell this car for less than $11,000 and at a profit. It's hard to imagine that an electric car with all this technology could cost less than $11,000. But that's exactly what Tesla is promising with the Model 2. The estimated price of 10.799D9, it's not just a marketing ploy. It's the result of strategic engineering that cuts costs at every stage of production without compromising performance. The idea is simple in theory, but complex in execution. Removing everything unnecessary, optimizing every part, and using industrial scale to make the impossible an accessible reality. The first step was to simplify the powertrain. No more dual motors or all-wheel drive. The Model 2 will come with a single rear engine, enough to deliver satisfactory everyday performance while drastically reducing manufacturing costs. This eliminates a second inverter, duplicate control systems, and extra cables, which alone represents savings of up to 40% only in the powertrain. And even with this simplified approach, the car is still capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 km h in about 6, 7 seconds, outperforming many more expensive combustion models. Another crucial point is the way the car is built. Tesla is using the concept of Giga Casting, in which entire body sections are molded at once, like giant Lego pieces. Instead of hundreds of welds, cuts, and assemblies, a single mold produces large sections of the car with pinpoint precision. This reduces assembly time, labor costs, and production errors. Furthermore, because everything is done in-house, the company cuts out intermediaries and maintains complete control over quality and delivery times. But engineering goes beyond the physical structure. The Model 2's electronic brain has also been redesigned with a focus on economy. Tesla is replacing the more than 100 chips used in the Model 3 with less than 30 custom chips developed in-house. This reduction in semiconductors reduces costs by hundreds of dollars per car and simplifies the software, making the system lighter, faster, and less prone to failure. Centralized electronic control also facilitates remote maintenance and updates, a Tesla trademark, and all this simplification is directly reflected in the final price. Adding up the savings on the engine, body, and chips, it's estimated that Tesla could reduce the Model 2's production costs by up to use $10,000 per unit compared to other electric models. This doesn't mean cutting corners, but rather scaling efficiency. With all these reductions, the car's total production cost is well below the market average, allowing the company to maintain a profit margin even with a selling price below $11,000. But it's not just the price that's striking. The Model 2's range is another surprising feature. It will be able to travel approximately 10 miles per charge, that is, more than 500 kilometers, enough to cover virtually any urban need and still enjoy a worry-free trip. And the charging was also designed for those in a hurry. 10% to 80% of the charge can be recovered in about 25 minutes using fast chargers. This puts the Model 2 ahead of even more expensive models in terms of recharge time, 
Behind all this efficiency is, of course, the new 4680 Gen 2i Tadon2 battery. It accounts for a significant portion of the vehicle's economy and performance. With optimized energy density, lower cost per kilowatt hour, and superior durability, this cell fits perfectly with the Model 2's purpose. The chassis integrated structure eliminates the need for additional reinforcements, reducing weight and increasing interior space, while also contributing to the safety and rigidity of the entire system. All this at a cost per pack of around was $1,350, a value that seemed unattainable until recently. Tesla's approach shows that it's possible to rethink every part of an electric car with a single obsession making it viable for the greatest number of people. The Model 2 isn't just an economic idea. It's a concept for accessing electric mobility on a mass scale, a car that requires no compromises. And more than that, a car that pays for itself over time through fuel savings, maintenance, and who knows, even profit. But this is where the next puzzle arises. How does Tesla intend to transform this car into a direct threat to China's dominance in the battery market? Tesla has always been known for defying the norm, but with the arrival of the NC05 battery, the company took its game to a new level and with a clear target on its radar, Chinese supremacy in the global battery market. While the world was getting used to the dominance of cattle, BYD, and Southeast Asian graphite refineries, Elon Musk was quietly moving in a different direction. The NC05, which stands for Nickel-Based Compact Cell, fifth generation, represents a complete break with the past. It's not an evolution of the 4680. It's a new paradigm with a prismatic shape, modular structure, reformulated chemistry, and manufacturing entirely located between the US and Mexico. This new cell has absolutely nothing subtle about it. It arrives with energy density of 310 Dwabi Wenchikigi, easily surpassing the already respectable 260 Dwabi Wenchikigi of the 4680 and crushing competitors like the BYD Seagull, which barely exceeds $250 Dwabi This density means more energy stored per gram of material, a key factor for compact cars like the Model 2, which need lightness, autonomy, and performance all at once. And it's not just the range that's impressive. The NC05 allows recharge from 0 to 80% in less than 10 minutes, using a tableless design and an electrolyte optimized for high currents. But what's truly striking is the geopolitical impact of NC05. By completely eliminating the use of materials refined in China, such as synthetic graphite, which accounts for 95% of the global market. Tesla breaks the backbone of the Beijing-dominated supply chain. The company has struck deals with US and Canadian suppliers for nickel and with Californian startups for silicon anode production. This substitution, in addition to being more ethical and environmentally sustainable, gives Tesla complete control over costs, logistics, and American tax incentives something BYD simply can't replicate. And when it comes to durability, the NC05 shines even brighter. Tests conducted at gigafactories in Texas and Nevada show it can reach up to 2 million miles of useful life, which equates to over 3 million kilometers, something unthinkable just a few years ago. This means the Model 2 is no longer just an affordable car, but a long-term investment, ideal for fleets, autonomous taxis, deliveries, and even for generating passive income. After all, a battery with this longevity not only reduces maintenance costs, but also raises the vehicle's resale value to another level. The revolution doesn't stop at the cell. The NC05 manufacturing process